learn a B major scale, and I'm speaking in horn pitch, not in concert pitch. So we're going to be starting on the B below middle C, and your first note is going to be the second finger. Next note is C sharp, which is one and two. And the third note is D sharp, which is two. So we're gonna learn those first three notes first. Play them in uh, half notes. Here's your first pitch. One, two, ready. Let's do that one more time. Repetition is great. Two, ready. Okay, we're going to add two more notes after the D sharp. So we're going to start on that D sharp, and then we're going to play an E, which is open, and then F sharp, which is second. So we're going to start on D sharp, E, F sharp. One, two, ready. Starting on the first B. So it'll be two, one, two, two, open, two. One, two, ready. start on that F sharp. We've got three more notes after that. So we'll start on F sharp, which is two. Then we'll play G sharp, which is trigger two and three. So two to trigger two and three. Your next note after that is an A sharp, which is trigger one. And then we have a B, which is trigger two. Now, if you are playing on a single F horn, you can actually play all of these fingerings without adding the trigger. They're the same fingerings. Um, if you do have a double horn, adding the trigger will make it a little bit easier because you're playing on shorter tuning for higher notes. So again, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. Here's your F sharp. One, two, ready. Let's review our fingerings. We're starting on the low B below middle C. That's two. C sharp is one, two. D sharp is two. E is open. F sharp is two. G sharp is trigger two, three. A sharp is trigger one. And B is trigger two. We'll again try this in half notes. And join me. Here's your first note. Let's try it twice as fast. So we're going to do the same thing in quarter notes. I'll count off the same tempo. One, two, ready.
now play one octave E major scale going up. So to learn the scale in reverse, I would just start at the top and do the same method, learn two to three notes at a time, link them together, repeat it when you get it correctly, and then uh, keep expanding that all the way down. And then you can do the same thing on the lower octave. We just already want to do two octave scales. And then you can take that same method and try it on other scales. Uh, most of the time people try to learn their scales too quickly and they try to do too many notes at once, and uh, then it doesn't become like a solid and easy thing to remember with your fingerings. So, there you go.